Alright, full throttle, full chooch. Let's send it. Hit a jump. Biggest jump in all out. Too flat. It's like something like that. Here, I'll, I'll show you the run up into that in case you were curious. Like some of the like the, the jumps and actually racing on the tracks other than like what you're probably very obviously seeing of it's like we're getting ready for the Nash the Canadian outdoor series or something sliding all over literally everything like we're about to go ice racing. But beyond like the obvious ice racing thing. Oh there we go. We finally, we finally, we found a jump. What's going on, guys? We're playing some more MX versus ATV Legends today. And uh, I guess today we're gonna try and just putt around the compound here and see if we can find some stuff to do tricks over. If not, we'll just we'll bust down as many tricks as we can over the jumps that are here. Because I, I think the last video I posted will have been the Utah Free Land Free. Wow, like, I've already screwed up my English. The last video was the Utah Free Ride location. And uh, long story short, we got some disappointing results. Couldn't actually find anything to um, really do tricks on there. I tried exploring the little compound here, that's your little default starting spot. I couldn't find too much, so we're just gonna start riding the track and see if we can bust some tricks out here that aren't heel clickers, because that seems to... There's a si side... The, the super can in MX vs. ATV Unleashed was the common thing that everybody always did when they didn't want to. And it seems to be the heel clicker is the easy one to accidentally default to in Legends here now. Let's see if we can double backflip this maybe somehow. Nope. Can't even single backflip it. Can I flat spin a 360? Can I clutch boost a backflip? No. Uh, we'll move on. So I think I at least learned that in the mechanics of the game. Preloading seems to throw you for like if when you do a preload it seems like you get a boost to fling yourself a little bit further. When you do a seat bounce it seems like you go a little bit higher. And it's very, very like over the top and absurd with how it does it. And it seems to be very, very, very inconsistent at best. See they've got this whole setup here where it looks like, oh that'd be a sweet landing jump the bar and land down here. Nah. It's just not. Just want to find some jumps! You can jump into the lake. Can't really water skip too far in this, I've noticed. Like, it seems you hit the water and you're just down immediately. Maybe, like, it's not... Like, you can't skip, but it's like... Oh, there we go. Now I skipped it, finally. I was hoping to be able to get the more shenanigans now that we've got the 450, but we'll see if I can even find anything. I see a gold gear at the top of this cliff to the right, though. <laughs> ah, apparently this is a scenic point. So that that's just it. There's like... Overlooks like that's like, yeah, I get that. that that's kind of neat, but... Same time, it's a video game. It's not really different than looking at a pre-rendered cutscene of something else. The whole point of this is to like go out and do things, but uh, anyway. Oh, it looks like there might be a dock over here to actually try water skipping off of. Like, there's these floating heads that make it seem like there should be a cool jump somewhere, but I can't find them. All right, here we go. I <laughs> failed that miserably. Let's try that again. I, I, I can see what they were going for here, but it feels like there's not nearly enough run up out of this. this... It just seems like no matter when you hit the water, you just go nose over and that's it. Also just noses over, okay. Uh, 
I, I, I don't, I seriously don't know what their intention was with that. There's, there's, there's like, no matter what you do, you're always crashing. Okay, I found one thing I could back. Look, there's just a flat field here. Was it used for something? They, they could have put, they could have put something in here. Appears to lead into a jump. Ah, a jump that goes nowhere. What, what was the intent behind that? I genuinely wonder. Also a jump that goes nowhere, but okay, we, we can land a trick on it, I guess. Like, I'm just confused. What is... What is this here for? But I guess you can do little backflips over it, but that's about it. Can I do a backflip combo? Probably not. Nope. Crazy boy flip, not happening. I, I, I'm just, it just goes nowhere. I, I, I don't. I am baffled by their decisions. There we go. We just landed a little transfer line there. Okay, okay. Like some of the like the, the jumps and actually racing on the tracks, other than like what you're probably very obviously seeing of it's like we're getting ready for the Nash, the Canadian Outdoor Series or something, sliding all over literally everything, like we're about to go ice racing. But beyond, like, the obvious ice racing thing... Oh, there we go. We finally, we finally, we found a jump. After all of, all of this time searching, I found something we can try and hit and do some tricks on. It's... I guess, if you're, if this was what you were buying this game for, it's just not... I don't know if I made my point yet, it's just not very well thought out for that. See if we can string something together off of bouncing this rock, maybe? Nope, guess not. Let's see, if I, I, I want to find something to hit. Okay, we did a trick there. That was a new one. Do a rodeo and land there, and it's like, oh well, I I don't know. I guess we'll just dive into the lake. I, I, this, this game is genuinely confusing me. All right, full throttle, full chooch. Let's send it. Hit a jump. Biggest jump in all out. Too flat. It's like something like that. Here, I'll, I'll show you the run-up end of that, in case you were curious. You, you start wherever that is, because we don't have a map, so we don't know where we're going. Like, all they- if they put a landing at the end of this, it would have been so cool to be able to, like, come into this and go, Woo! Could have had a huge jump there and done something cool, but nope, nope, nope. Can't have that, so it's... It is what it is, I guess. Do weird 360s, and, um... Yeah, I, I don't know, I guess the point of this video is I was trying to explore the little ranch here and see if there are any freestyle areas to try and find, in case anybody else was curious, since I, I was too. This is, so far, this is the best thing I could find, where there's a helmet there. I think we caught a rock and we just launched ourselves harder than the uh, the California compliant map cannon does. But yeah, there's, there's, as far as I can find, there's nothing to do here for doing stunts or anything, it's... Which is fine, if it is what it is, it's... They, they, it seems like they, they've clearly geared it up towards racing, they just... The, that whole part of the... What used to be part of the series has been left in the dust now, and... Definitely hasn't gotten better for as far as um, stunts and whatnot go since Reflex. Once you get moving fast, you start to have traction. Then we're gonna come up this hill, and it's just gonna suck all of my power away as we try and boot it up the rock here, since... Rocks are apparently all you can find to jump off of in this game. And rocks in this one very specific spot right here is all you're gonna get. But 
figure out. I'm out of uh, out of ideas. This is kind of turned into a rant. Then I go back to racing. Racing, I honestly don't mind in this game. I'm I'm kind of waiting until I can advance far enough in the career mode to get past the 125 to try and post racing videos because it is just kind of annoying <laughs> trying to race the 125. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever this video was, taking another deeper look at the game. Let me know if you have anything you'd like to see in the future, please. I can try and do my best to accommodate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.